everybody what's going on how are you doing and welcome back to my channel today is going to be a lovely is that a spider a little sit down video as you can see i'm in my comfy right now when i am filming this which is probably the day you're going to see it i've been working from home for about the last five ish days and we will be in lockdown from tomorrow for the next 21 days because of what's going on i am not going to say what it is because videos are getting bumped down if you mention it just because um youtube is being a little bit more wary about fake news so yeah you guys know what's going on it's happening everywhere i wanted it to be a lighter one i wanted to share with you some cool um tips some advice to kind of help you stay productive to help keep your mind busy during this time whether you're self-isolating whether you're on a lockdown whatever i just wanted to kind of share some tips and tricks that i've learned and that's kind of helped me so i've just created a list of about seven things that you could it's not necessarily all tips or all advice it's kind of a mixture on how you can kind of keep your mind busy stay busy even though you're indoors um there are quite a few things that you can do whether you're working or not if this is your first time visiting my channel welcome hi how are you please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below and let's just get into this video okay so the first thing that i would highly recommend um especially if you're someone that could like easily laze around and do nothing and if you're working from home is to develop a routine so for example um working from home i wake up a certain time every day i get up i take a shower as if i would go to work i would get dressed not necessarily in the clothes that i would go to work i don't go to work in these things <laughs> but i would get dressed as if i'm going to work and i would go and work in a separate room um, from my bedroom because naturally your brain associates your bed with relaxing time so bringing your laptop to your bed you're gonna kind of mess with that and one you might kind of overwork yourself or two you might get tired or three you might just have trouble sleeping altogether you'll also be able to start working at a certain time and shut down at a certain time so you won't necessarily have those days where you are not doing anything for a full day and then the next day you're working like 15 hours so it kind of helps to have a medium in between a routine definitely does help that okay and then um, another way to keep busy during self-isolation or lockdown is to learn a new skill so this all comes down to sometimes being a little bit more prepared as in having to buy supplies or stuff before um or maybe just learning a new skill on its own so when it comes to uh, things like learning how to do makeup how to do your nails how to do how to draw how to paint you need supplies for those things so perhaps before a lockdown or something you would go and get those things um and then you can like learn the skill you can use youtube it is a flipping amazing like whole library of how to learn things how i learned to do my nails through youtube and perhaps those of you who are studying at the time or working and are looking to be a little bit more productive in terms of furthering your skills there are a lot of online programs that you can do um i know personally udemy is one of my favorites um i learned video editing i learned digital marketing through that and it's also not as expensive okay number three make sure you have some relaxing you time so whether that is you laying in your bed reading a book meditating having a relaxing bath or whatever make sure you just have some time for yourself specifically if you live in a house the people and you're gonna be with those people for a very long time it's really good to have some like alone time because it's really good for your mental health for you just to like check in with yourself every now and then i know personally long baths is my thing i know my family and boyfriend complain about that a lot but sometimes you need to take an hour long hot steamy bath with some music and just relax okay one of my mom's personal favorites which is up next is having game nights so game nights i feel like are really cool because they get like everybody in the house involved whether you're gonna be staying with your friends your family or even if you're gonna be staying alone game nights work really really nice because they get everybody in the mood they take your mind off of things 
so that works really well i know personally my family have a really really good collection of board games that in case the electricity goes off we still have that so that's pretty cool i know a personal favorite is monopoly we get very 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 competitive <laughs> if you are living alone online gaming is also really cool um you don't necessarily need to have a console to be able to online game like you could even play games through your im <laughs> with your friends and next up we have interacting with people how like <laughs> Are relevant make sure you check in with your friends your family people who may not be living with you not only is it good for your like mental health as well as theirs but it also gives you like a little aspect of the outside world of like maybe at the end of the day having a group face time with your friends and just catching up on the day and just having a moment of like normality that might be able to give you some comfort and also i know a lot of us like to text but sometimes it's really really good to have just that one-on-one-ish because it's on facetime conversation with someone i know there are going to be a lot of couples using this one <laughs> and also lastly very simple very easy indulge in the occasional binge like whether that is watching a series watching some movies reading books like i feel like everybody needs to like indulge in the occasional binge like oh, there's so many books that you can purchase online um, through Audible if you're not like down to read. Um, I know Kindle have a whole lot of selections that you can look through as well as Apple's platform as well. Um, there are a lot of like online books that you can read. I personally want to start reading a little bit more during this time. And of course you have your typicals, your DST catch-ups, your Netflix, your Showmax. All of that i'll give you a little tip if you are one of those people that have what is it called dstv premium right and you have some data to spare um download the dstv app on your tablet your phone your laptop if you can download on your tv do that and use that catch up instead the like selection is so much wider they stock full seasons like if you want to start watching something and it's like already on episode seven or eight chances are they have it from one to eight you can watch that i just started watching dare me on netflix um don't know how i feel about it yet episode two <laughs> and i would highly recommend elite on netflix as well it's really really good so that guys are my simple but effective tips some advice on how to stay productive while being at home um this is a very like uncertain time for us all but i feel like if we can all man together from a distance we'll be good <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching stay safe out there and i'll see you in my next video bye Oh,